Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the process of migrating from Autotask into Halo, how easy the process is. I get asked this almost every day in my consulting calls. Now, how easy is it to migrate from Autotask into Halo? So if, if you're in that position where you're currently using Autotask, and you're thinking about switching to Halo, and you want to know how you can bring all of your information, your tickets and customers and all those kind of things in from uh, Autotask into Halo, then I'm going to show you how to do that process from here. So let's go and take a look at how this works. So what we want to do, the ver very first thing we need to do is inside Autotask, we need to create a, um, an API user account. So to do that, we simply click on admin. Then we go into account settings and users resources and users. And then from here, we simply create an API user account. So we just got to give this some details. Um, we can call it whatever we want at this point. Let's do that. Um, oops. That's what happens when you use fake accounts. They don't really work too well. Um, oh, let me just do this again. Okay, and it still didn't work. So then we create our security level and there's three bits of information that we need at this point. So we need to have a username, a password and, um, uh, and an API identifier key. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the generate key we're going to hit generate secrets. And this is going to create us a username, a password. And then from here we use the custom integration and we can just call this halo. Um, and then we need this tracking identifier key. Once you have those three bits of information, we can then go into Halo and put that information in, and then we can start to do the migration. So to do that inside Halo, the very first thing we want to do is go into configuration, and then we want to go into uh, migrations, auto task, and we need to put that information into here. So you can see we have the username, the password, and the identifier, and then we click test configuration and we get a successful test. Don't try copy these details. I am gonna um, kill those at the end of this, this video. Um, but what this will allow you to do now is to have a bunch of things that you can do. So we can bring in all the companies, all the locations. We can also bring in things like contracts or contacts. We can bring in agreements, which are contracts. We can bring in employees, products, service catalogs, and my favorite one, we can bring in tickets as well. So let's actually go and have a look at how we do all of these step by step. Now they are of course in this order for a reason. So we need to go through them in this order. But very simply, we click on companies and locations. It's now saying when we bring these companies into Halo, what do we want to do in terms of getting, um, you know, assigning VAT to these customers? So let's just go in and give them a VAT rate. And what we will now do is this will go and pull all of our companies in uh, in from inside Autotask. So here they all are here. I can see there's a bunch of these. And what I'm going to do, um, I'm simply going to hit the start button. And this is going to go ahead and pull all of my companies in, every single company and every single location. It's going to pull them in. And you'll start to see it says done. Don't worry about the um, uh, QuickBooks online sync failed. That's basically just saying there's a, this company already exists and it's trying to sync it back into um, its QuickBooks. I'm gonna leave this to, to go and I'll come back and show you once this is done, how we do the rest of it. Okay, and there we have it. So you can see that the sync has finished. So we have now synced all of these companies into Halo. So let's go and take a look. If we look at customers, we can see here are all of our customers and some of the names you might be familiar with if you've ever seen the, the um, order task uh, demos is we've got this company called Able Manufacturing. We can see that you know the address has been brought over. Currently, what hasn't yet been brought over is any, um, any of our users, but we can bring those over as well. So if we go into Able Manufacturing within order task and we have a look at who the users are, what we'll be able to see from here we can see, you know, that we have five contacts and this is their, their names that are, are in here. So let's go and actually bring those into 
um, into Halo. So very simply, all we do now is we come back into configuration, back into the migration, and this time we're just gonna say, bring in contacts. So what we're now saying is if it can't match, if it doesn't know the company that it belongs to, then it's just gonna create it as the unknown account and the unknown um, company. Um, and there we go. So we're just gonna simply hit the start button. Um, and this process actually doesn't take very long. And you can see here that this is basically saying it's updating them um, if it's already found the details or it's going to come in and, and add them if they don't exist. So you, you can see how quick this process is. Um, now, while this is going, it's probably a good opportunity for me to talk about this. Um, before you start doing any of this kind of stuff, obviously make sure that, you know, firstly, the data is clean. I just so happen to be using demo accounts. So for me, I don't really mind if this data is, is all over the place, but make sure the data is clean, you know, that you've got the correct titles, the correct addresses, all of that kind of stuff. Um, because we want to make sure that you're going to be bringing in clean information. Of course, you can um, tick these boxes up here and just select the particular ones that you actually want and only bring in those particular ones. But in this case, it's brought everybody in. Well, it's, it's added all by those. So that's fine. Um, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and stop this. So if we now go into here and we have a look at uh, sites and users, and then we go to primary location and we look at users, we can see we have the exact same users in order to, uh, in Halo that we had in Autotask. So, so far you can see how easy this process is to just bring everything in. There's no, uh, you know, no importing from, um, you know, CSV files, none of that kind of stuff. It's very, very cool, very easy way to, uh, to bring stuff in. Let's just do products as well. Um, so currently, just to show you, there's nothing in the product list um, within in Halo. Um, so if we go back to the products and we say, yeah, let's bring those in, that's not going to take very long at all. So we're going to say products, import, same thing, let's bring them in and simply click the start button. And you'll see this just goes ahead and chucks all of these products in. Okay, and then they all come. And you'll see, again, this process is very, very quick, very straightforward. So if we now go and look at products, you'll see, if we look at non-serialized, we have all of the products entered into Halo. So the fun part's gonna start now. So those parts are fairly straightforward, fairly easy. But let's bring in billing codes. So billing codes, again, gives us things like labor, um, you know, which, uh, which Halo calls charge types, Autotask calls them work types and um, service codes. We're just gonna bring all of those in and we need those to be brought in because the next step that we're gonna do is to bring in things like um, tickets and we need to assign those to the right place, but we're also gonna bring in contracts um, and, and have all of that stuff assigned to the correct place. So here we go, bring this in. There's all of our codes brought in. And the next step that we want to do is now bring in agreements. Now this does warn you that company and billing codes must be imported from Autotask before the agreements will work. Agreements in Halo is contracts in Autotask. You can rename it in, in Halo to be contracts, but for now we'll just leave them as agreements and we'll just bring everything from the beginning of the year. Now this is where the real cool thing comes in. If we go into Autotask and we have a look um, yeah, let's go back to Able Manufacturing. And let's have a look at one of the contracts that we have on the system for Able Manufacturing. So we have three contracts and let's look at the recurring service contract. And here we will see on this recurring service contract that we have under services, we have a bunch of services in here um, at a particular amount. So we're gonna get these exact, this exact contract and these exact services brought in to, um, into Halo. So let's go and do that. Right, here's all the, all the agreements. Let's import this in. And away it goes. Exactly the same process, just brings the stuff straight in very, very quickly. Or should be at least relatively quick. There you go. So the first one's done. This process takes a little bit of a time, but luckily we don't have too many of these. 
So hopefully this should um, should bring in what we need. It looks like actually on this, I oh know it's bringing in a recurring service contract. So that's already in there on the recurring service contract. So we can see at the top here, it's, it's already brought that in at that description. So if we were to go into Halo, I don't want to stop this now um, because some of the tickets that we bring in are going to need to have these um, agreements imported in. But we'll just let this go and then I'll show you what Halo has actually done is it's created these as, as agreements. And at the same time, it's actually taken all of the services that Auditask has. So on the contract here, all of these services get, get created in, uh, in Halo as recurring invoices. So it, it, it allows us to take all of the stuff just like that and create um, any kinds of agreements that we want. So let's do this. Now, one thing this will do, and it does say in that, that screen beforehand as well, that um, you know this won't update any contract. So if you've already created the contract or the agreement inside Halo for that customer, um, it will not update the contract. It will simply create a new one. So just bear that in mind that um, you know the, the, the process will only create a brand new contract. Okay, so there they're in, sync is finished. So let's go and take a look. Let's go into Halo. Let's go into the agreements. So if we go into agreements up here and we go look at the agreement for Able Manufacturing and I guess it's this one, yeah, the recurring service contract. And we go into recurring invoices. What we will see on the recurring invoices is our services. So you can see that there's actually two recurring in invoices created. And we have those services created on one of them. So we bring in this stuff in and you can see here they all are the exact same amount that we had in Autotask. Okay, so let's go see what else we can do from a, um, uh, you know, from an import perspective. So brought all of those in. Now my favorite one. Let's bring in all of the ticket information. Now what this is going to do is it's going to bring in everything to do with the ticket. So it's going to bring in the, the ticket name, the ticket title, the ticket number. It's also going to bring in you know, any notes that you've had against the ticket. Something to bear in mind, though, of course, you know, if in Halo you have set up um, an email that automatically emails a customer when a ticket is created, you might want to make sure that that's turned off because what this is going to do is once these tickets get created, um, it could potentially send an email to your customer. So you might want to do this at your demo stage before you've kind of turned on all of that, that, that email. Um, also, we have to write a custom JSON filter. Now, we can do that fairly easily by going into a tool that we call um, the Postman tool. Now, this is something I will post a link in the description below that will talk all about this, how to get this and how to kind of put the stuff into, um, uh, you know, into here. And then what all we need to do is this is going to query a list of all tickets and we can see here is the value that we need as far as um, you know getting that JSON filter. So what we then need to do is we need to paste that JSON filter back into here within Halo. So when I click on import now, I'm gonna bring this in as a test ticket type and I'm gonna say that I only wanna uh, bring stuff back as far as, yeah, let's do 2022, that's fine. Same thing applies in here, is we will have every single ticket, we've got five pages of them, and when I simply hit the start button, these tickets will start to arrive inside Halo. Again, um, and it goes without saying, the, there's a bunch of test tickets in here, there's a bunch of random information, just make sure that the tickets that you are bringing in of course, are tickets that you want to bring in, that you need to bring in. And you may need to adjust that JSON filter a little bit based upon, you know, if you want to bring in only new tickets or closed tickets or, you know, tickets for a particular customer on a particular date and time. Um, it, you know, you need to adjust that JSON filter because that's what's going to determine how far back um, and, and what kind of tickets we can pull in um, and how far back. One thing that this does do, which is also really cool, is um, this will actually apply the same status in Halo for what those tickets are in order task. So if they've come in as a completed status, um, it, it will actually mark them as complete in Halo. It will also, if they're in the 
you know, in progress or whatever, it will actually map that same status. So once these come through, we'll be able to see kind of how that works. So I'm just going to let this go and I'll come back and uh, talk about the rest of it from there. And there it's done. So now you can see the sync has finished. So let's go and take a look at this inside Halo. So if we simply go into Service Desk, we will see here is all of our tickets that have been created. Here they all are. We can see some of the statuses are in progress, some of them are new. It just brings in every single ticket. Um, I don't know if we had any closed ones on that list, but it'll bring in all of the tickets that we currently had inside Autotask. So let's go and take a look at what kind of information we're gonna get out of here. Okay, that's a bad example, but perhaps we can uh, you know, look at maybe one of the Justice League ones. Also a bad example. But if we go through here, I'm not really um, sure which ones these are. What I was trying to find is to see if there's one that's may maybe Able Manufacturing might have some. There you go. There's an e example of a ticket that is being brought into, um, into Halo. So we now have you know, the information of how long we spent on it, what the notes are that came in from Autotask, um, as well as that we also have information about uh, you know, who, who it's for. Um, and we can just click on any one of these pretty much and you'll be able to see the information. It's probably the wrong ones I'm clicking on. But I think you get the idea here that this gives us the ability to really find out. It's probably because those don't have a huge amount of information on them. Um, let's just see if we can search for Let's just search one of the Justice League ones. I know I've been playing with that account quite a lot. There we go, perfect example. Right, so here we can see some summary notes. You know, we put our internal notes in there, our, our summary notes. We've also got, you know, any information about where this was forwarded from, when it was created. And you can see it's brought in the time as well. So it was created at 1601 and we ended at 1616. So it really is as easy as that to bring in information from Autotask into Halo. Goes without saying, you know, I've done this in, in a demo environment. Obviously, like I said, we need to make sure we clean things up. We also need to make sure we've turned off emails so that people aren't being notified about all of these things. And we also do need to bear in mind, you know, that if we had internal notes here in, in Autotask, um, that these are going to show as notes in Halo and may potentially um, actually be able to be seen by our customer. So we just need to be careful with some of the stuff but the point of this demo was to show you how easy it is to bring that stuff in and, and what it does. So it's as simple as that. So if you are thinking of migrating from Autotask into Halo, um, this is the kind of process we can go through. Obviously, there's a bunch of stuff we need to do in the background first, like you know setting up teams, um, those kinds of things. But on the whole, pretty much that's the migration process. Hope this video has been useful. If so, I would really appreciate it if you could give me a like and subscribe and, um, and look forward to seeing you on the next video. So thank you very much and see you soon.